They aren't the Illuminati, but they are in control. Magically delicious! Oh, those are me, Lucky Charms! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 companies that control the world's food supply. Shuffle! For this list, we're taking a look at the companies who have the biggest influence on what we eat. These are the industry leaders who have big revenues and even bigger impacts on people all over the world. We'll have lots of fun. <laughs> Number 10. Associated British Foods. Ooh, like push cheese on toast. Get her, she's gone all gourmet. <laughs> I'll get you the bill then. Though the name says British Foods, this company is a multinational provider of all the things you need to make your meals. Based out of London, England, and founded in 1935, Associated British Foods is a major player in the world of baking ingredients. In fact, it's the second largest maker of sugar and baker's yeast in the world. With over 200 retail stores under the Primark name across Europe, and popular brands of cooking and baking ingredients like Twinings, Rivita, Fleischmann's, and Mazzola in other stores around the world, this company has a part in your food no matter where you get it. With the oil as pure as the food it cooks, Mazzola, 100% pure corn oil. Number 9. PepsiCo Incorporated. And it's the choice of a new generation. Pepsi and Coca-Cola may be in a permanent battle for beverage supremacy. But the corporation that owns the Pepsi label is the one that makes this list, thanks in part to its huge portfolio of products that expands outside the realm of drinks. Though it was first founded in the late 1800s, the company became PepsiCo Inc. in 1965 after its merger with Frito-Lay. Today, Mountain Dew and, of course, Pepsi are flagship brands of the multinational company, but Gatorade, Tropicana Fruit Drinks, and Quaker Foods appeal to other taste buds. Oh, Quaker's finally making cookies? Yeah, this one has chocolate chips, almonds, and, of course, whole grain oats. Uh -huh. so. mm. PepsiCo also likely dominates your break room vending machine with Lay's, Doritos, Cheetos, and other favorite snack options. <laughs> Number 8. McDonald's Corporation There's nothing like the world-famous taste of McDonald's crispy golden french fries. Whenever you go to the drive-thru at the Golden Arches, you become one of the 68 million people served at the fast food joint every day. McDonald's has a presence in 119 countries and generates revenues of roughly $28 billion annually, all brought in one Happy Meal at a time. Part of your McDonald's Happy Meal. Originally founded by the McDonald brothers in California in 1940, McDonald's became the business it is today thanks to Ray Kroc, who opened his first franchise in 1955 and eventually bought the brothers out and expanded it worldwide. And in Paris, you can buy a beer at McDonald's. Like it or not, the company and its Ronald McDonald mascot have become a symbol of the American lifestyle, selling cheap, fast food albeit with a questionable history of health. There's always an extra fry at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Number 7. Monsanto Company You may not be as familiar with Monsanto. The company doesn't produce a food product that sits on a shelf, but it's heavily involved in the agricultural industry. Responsible for herbicides, pesticides, and seeds that help produce the massive crops needed to feed billions around the world, Monsanto was created in 1901 and originally sold food additives. We're committed to helping farmers double yields by 2030. Though an innovator in the biotech industry, the company regularly comes under fire for its genetically modified crops and for controversial products for which it was once responsible including harmful chemicals like DDT, Agent Orange, and bovine growth hormone. Let's Sorry. trust the corporations no. to put people's health above profit, because that's what they no, would do. Uh, A contentious entrant on this list, Monsanto has no doubt impacted the food industry, for better or worse. I've been eating Monsanto products for years and have had no effects on my... Ah! Why is everything covered in blood? Number 6. Grup Danone In the United States, this multinational is better known as the Danone Company. But it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you'll find it hard not to come across a product produced by Grup Danone. 
founded in Spain in 1919, but now headquartered in France. Dairy products are the primary seller from this brand, and yogurt is its top product, with brands like Danone, Actimel, Activia, and Brown Cow all representing the company in that segment. Come on, kids of Canada, tell us how you really feel. Moo. Moo. But don't think that means that's all they make. Groupe Danone also sells a wide variety of bottled water brands like Evian around the world. <laughs> Number 5. Kraft Heinz Company Kraft has a tremendous 109-year legacy as a maker of great brands thanks to great people. The dairy section of your local grocery store is likely dominated by the Kraft logo. The brand has come a long way since its humble beginnings in Chicago in 1903 when J.L. Kraft started selling cheese door to door. Kraft American Singles, double the calcium, now with vitamin D. Instrumental in instituting a pasteurizing process that allowed cheese to be transported worldwide, Kraft was acquired by National Dairy in 1930, but regained its name in 1969 when the company started focusing on more than just dairy. In 2012, Kraft Foods Group became the company's North American spin-off, with international snacks falling under the Mondelez International banner, meaning that household brands like Oscar Mayer, Jell-O, and Velveeta are still sold under the Kraft name. You know you love it. The over $40 billion merger announced in 2015 between Kraft and fellow American company Heinz means that the Kraft Heinz company will be one of the world's top five largest food companies. <laughs> Number 4. Mondelez International Incorporated what if I gave an Oreo to you? In 2012, Kraft Foods Incorporated splintered, keeping its name for the much smaller North American branch of the company that eventually merged with Heinz and christening its international arm Mondelez International. Today, Mondelez is a multinational corporation that produces many of the food and snack brands that once fell under the Kraft label, many of which were acquired in the 1989 merger of Kraft and General Foods. If you've snacked on Oreos or any Nabisco product, chewed on Trident or Stride gum, or munched on some Cadbury chocolate, then you've helped Mondelez generate some of its roughly $36 billion in annual revenues. Ritz cracker, mature cheddar cheese, and pickle. Number three, Unilever. Hellman's. 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 What's a sandwich without mayo or a salad without dressing? Unilever makes sure you'll never have to find out the answer to that question with brands like Hellman's helping to make it the largest producer of food spreads in the world. Hellman's makes it! Of course, there's plenty more to this British-Dutch company's over 400 brands, as home care and personal care products like Dove and Tresemme are some of its best-selling labels. What will you do with your salon-strong, chair-worthy hair? Tresemme, professional, affordable. Among the food products that help generate enough annual revenue to make Unilever the third largest consumer goods company in the world are names like Ben & Jerry's, Knorr, Basel, and Sara Lee. You can clean yourself, your house, make lunch, and enjoy dessert, all with Unilever label brands. Who needs Raymond? I found two new men to love. And their names are Ben and Jerry. <laughs> Number two, Nestle. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. The business began in the late 1800s when Henri Nestle began selling a milk-based baby food and Daniel Peter perfected his method of chocolate manufacturing with Nestle's help. Since then, Nestle built its name selling products like baby food and instant coffee, and eventually acquired companies like Stouffer's and Carnation to offer even more food products. Today, settled in its Swiss headquarters, the international corporation generates almost $100 billion a year in revenues. Much of its success is attributed to its 8,000 brands, including names like KitKat, Nestle, Purina, and more. No matter how you look at it, Nestle is a dominating force in food and beverage around the world. Make your cat feel extra special with Fancy Feast Royale, Purina. Before we look at the top company to count on for your calories, 
Here are some honorable mentions. So it's that kind of party. Hit it! I'm sexy and I know it. The choice has never been easier. For whole grain guaranteed, just look for the white check. Let's see your pork. Ooh, let's get those in the bowl. These are way too good to waste. Number one, Cargill Inc. Notoriously secretive and relatively low profile, you may never have heard of Cargill, but it's the United States' biggest family-owned company. The international food conglomerate was launched by William Wallace Cargill at the tail end of the Civil War in 1865, and today over a dozen of his descendants are billionaires. More billionaires in one family than any other family across the globe. Originally an Iowa grain storage business, Cargill adapted to consumer needs and blossomed into a multinational that takes in roughly $135 billion a year in revenues. By producing meats like beef, turkey and pork, ingredients like salt or oils, eggs used by companies like McDonald's, and so many food additives, it's almost impossible to avoid chowing down on a Cargill product on a daily basis. Do you agree with our list? They're great! Which companies do you think have the biggest hand in providing food to the world? What do you think? For more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That's the saddest sound I know.